Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Enshrouded on the Radio Mansville 3. It's awesome to have you along. I expanded us out just, just a hair, just a smidge. This is just literally a little bit of time since uh, we were together for the first episode. Thank you for the support in advance of the series. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I think I'm good to go. You know what? I've got a couple things in my inventory I just don't need, like this, like this hammer and stuff. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put a couple things away. I just expanded this a little bit just so we'd have, well, you know, a little more room. Let's put that away. The boxes have to be moved. I wonder, can I access this from behind? <laughs> sure can. Sounds interesting. There we go. And a boom, and a boom. All right, beautiful. Let's drop those off right there. And close the door. All right, so welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for joining me. It is awesome to have you along. Let's go get some, uh, we're going to get some loot. We're going to go out today and do a little bit further exploration. I kind of don't want to build just right here in this particular location. There's a lot of great stuff here, but at the same time, I'd kind of like to, I don't know, this is where we, you know, this is where you built when you started. We, we did the demo, so I'd kind of like to be maybe just across the, the bridge here, maybe. I don't know. Let's go for a walk and see what we run into. We'll take a look and see. So nice, man. Do very fluid as uh, as we expect. Uh, what do we got? Some bones, 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 bones. There we go. Perfect. So we should try to get to the point where we find the um, the smithy. We should find the smithy. Yep. Zip. There we go. Find the smithy. Get him kind of uh, in our pocket. And then while we're out here looking, we'll also look to see if we could find, you know, um, a place to live. A place to maybe build something. I I'd kind of like to try to build into a wall if I could. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I should probably use my axe when I'm breaking stuff like that, you know? It would make more sense to do it that way. Was this here? Or do we have to drop? You had to drop down, I think, right? Before? Didn't you have to drop down into here? Before, and then you could, you had to come back up this way. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, sir, look at this. We got a dead guy here on the bridge. Okay, so we've got some bombs and some metal. Awesome. Oh, here we go. There's a tent over here. Let's go get this tent. We'll grab up some rocks, too, while we're at it. Uh, maybe not. And I think we could probably do our food thing here, too. Let's at least go six and seven, right? Do I have anything in my inventory that I can eat? Um, I probably should not eat it raw. Oh, look at this. Perfect, 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 perfect. Inventory. Okay, so let's go alt. There we go, and cook, and cook. Okay, do I have any other mushrooms around here real quick? Just to, just to see. Doesn't look like it. Let's take number three. There we go. Okay, another journal entry. Beautiful. Let's see what we've got here. To all who set their eyes upon my wondrous... No, allow me to begin again. To all travelers, I have conquered this terrain with my greatness. I'm afraid that's not right either. The bridge is nearly finished, and I cannot find the words to express my joy. Confound it. How lucky we had a bountiful mine so close by for materials and ore. One thing I do know, I'll name this bridge Braylon after my dearly departed fifth aunt. Though if she were still alive, I'm not sure... She would be flattered for her and the bridge share not just the name, but a brash nature. Signed, Cade Hawthorne. So, ore is in the area, huh? Gotcha, I hear you. No, I, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to lay in that bed. Thank you very much. There we go. Water. Give me the water. All right, so we got that taken care of. Grab a few sticks as well. So I mean, we could we could build out here and be in a different area, not be quite, 
you know, just right at the very starting point, I guess, is what I'm trying to avoid. And I've, I did kind of want to build in a wall, too. Oh, there's some more mushrooms. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. We're getting all kinds of good stuff. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Maybe I should cook up a couple of more of these mushrooms real quick on that campfire so I have that food. There's another mushroom right over here. Oh, God, I didn't see you coming at all. Whew. That worked pretty good, huh? The old axe worked pretty good. He caught me. He caught me. I was I was not prepared for him. Can we come across that bridge? So there's always going to be a guy kind of right there at that bridge. So we don't want to be right there. That would not make that would not make sense to do something like that right there. Uh, I'm willing to bet I can do. Um, I need to use that campfire over here. I love how when you switch to your weapon, which is the club at the moment, it uh, brings up the shield right away into your into your hand too. It's really handy. What do we have here? Well, that's quite a combo you got there, buddy. Whew. Well, what was that? What did we pick up there? I thought I saw a weapon. Let's try that guy out for a little bit. How's my health? Uh, we're down a little bit. I thought that was those explosive barrels that I was looking at. We do have some grenades. See if there's anybody else to clear out of here. Yeah, see, there's a thing right over there. There's a barrel right over there. Now, can I shoot? Nope. Okay, let's go. Let me switch back to my other hot bar. See, that's what I was trying to do right there, and it just didn't... Uh, well, I, maybe I wasn't shooting the right thing. I think I was shooting this right here, this pile of scrap metal here. Yeah, I was, I was, search I was shooting that. Kind of missed the mark. Sorry, guys. We'll try. We'll get better at this, right? Of course. Of course. Ancient Vault, the Blacksmith. Okay, sweet. Let's go ahead and finish uh, scouting this area out right here. See if there's anything else we need to do. There's bound to be, right? There's loot all over the place here. All items repaired. Well, be danged. Okay, so I repaired a bunch of stuff and I don't even know how I did it. No? Does this not break? I thought these things were supposed to give you extra metal. Maybe these broken ones do? Maybe I just need a better pickaxe to do it, huh? Maybe I've got just the crappiest pickaxe in the world. Gotcha. Yeah, maybe I'll come back with a better pickaxe. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, look at this here. What do we got here? Oh, I thought they were showing me a campfire. The, okay, another failure. The cinder vessel broke down during testing. The rat I used inside was charred by the coalescent flame. A bright flash, then nothing. Thankfully, the side effect of blindness was only temporary. I've acquired a new subject, another rat, Igni. Hopefully, our path to salvation. I cannot accept more setbacks. I will ensure that the cinder vessel holds as if my life depended on it. It may well, Balthazar. Uh, what about this guy right here? Is this uh, something we can chop up? Hmm. Okay. 
I've got a little bit of lag going on right here. Okay, I see a dude right over there. That worked. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, I got you. Oh, I'm not doing too good. Let me get uh, let me go to my inventory. Do I have a health potion? I do. There we go. Perfect. I need to get those in my hot bar. Okay, venture forth. It's done. The cinder vessel is a delicate contraption, still volatile yet brimming with potential and hope. The first human to enter will be our true prototype, the kindling of a new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. He must enter the vessel and sleep until roused anew, lest he slips into eternity. May the ashes of one age sustain the seeds of the next Balthazar. Okay, so we put ourselves a little bit of a, a dude in, uh, you know, stasis. Awaken Oswald. There we go. We've got him. Okay, sweet. Now, maybe this is what we break. Oh, there we go. Well, that's nice. Some elixirs. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, that's good stuff. For, oh, for a chess piece. Ineffective. I like the fact it tells me that. Oh, there's a secret door here. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> what? I'll need a lockpick, huh? Inventory. Can I make a lock lock pick? Let's see. Mm-hmm. I made a lock pick, didn't I? Or is it telling it, it lock pick? There we go. Um What's going on here? Maybe I need to open this door. Maybe the door is confusing this whole thing. Let's try this again. There we go. You just have to click it. I was holding it. I guess that doesn't doesn't like to be held. <laughs> oh. The masterful mace. Well, well, well. Thank you very much. We shall uh, be more than happy to try this out. Uh, no, we don't need to close that. Is there another secret door here somewhere, though? And anyway, we've got to pick up all our scrap metal, too. Nothing there. Okay, so let's go back to... Um, well, let's go to our inventory. Let's go to our backpack. B for backpack. Let's put that up there now. We've got two of these guys here. What does this mean? It's got a yellow marker on it. Max durability 250. 250 11 damage. 11 damage. Okay, I see. I, I, I guess I think I see, but maybe I don't see. <laughs> there, how's that for making sense? Uh-oh, I think that guy is back. No? When you need to rest, you can fast travel back to your home by opening your map using M. Navigate to the map and select your home. Well, that, that means I miss out on all the fun, though, along the way. I don't like that idea. So the mace is a two-handed weapon, huh? Okay, that's interesting. Ineffective on that. Okay, so it's not going to break those things, but it will break the smaller ones, right? I thought it was these bigger ones we could break as well. Ineffective. So maybe what it is is we do need a better pick. A better pickaxe. We'll get the smithy up and running, you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? And then we'll be able to get that stuff. Now that's said ineffective, but we... Well, maybe it's just... It's talking about the floor. Gotcha. Okay. What about this? Boom. Get the bones, okay. Bones. Man, that might feel a little excessive, right? A bit excessive. Uh, and then what do we do here with this guy here? It's only a, it's only getting a one hit there. That's five. 
Well, I'm breaking the rock behind this. I'm not breaking this at all. It's just the stone back there. Yeah, never mind. I don't know if I'm supposed to break that or not. I'm kind of worried about actually doing that. So let's go ahead and leave that alone. And this again. Okay, so when you need to rest, you can fast travel back to your home by opening your... Navigate to the map and select your home. Let's see. How does that work? See, yeah, but now I feel like I miss all kinds of extra stuff out here to pick up and everything. So... It's not, a, it's, I don't, I don't particularly care to do that too. I, I mean, there's going to be times, of course, when it's going to be handy, but early game, I just don't see that as being something I'm going to do a lot of it. Deposit stacks. Okay, we've got all kinds of room in there. That's fantastic. All right, and do you have room in you? Can I put my hammer in here? I can. Okay, we'll get to the building. I just know that there's, there's a, a, an awful lot of adventure to be had here. I think... It's really tough to decide. Maybe I put my tools on the second bar and weapons on the first bar because I'm going to be having weapons most of the time. I'm trying to figure out how I want to work out this because, yeah, it's... Um, if you know what I mean. I just want to make sure I've got stuff where it needs to be. Like the food, I feel like the food could actually be down here. But the elixirs and the health stuff needs to be up on the first bar. And then I need, I've got the, the double weapon, but then I could use like a bow, but I could also use the scythe here. What is the provisional scythe? What does it say? Melee weapon, damage 11. Damage 11, it's really not bigger. 120 max durability, 250 durability. So better at that. And uh, it actually has more damage, cutting and piercing. So what I'm going to do with this club is I'm just going to delete it. I could probably, I wonder if you, you know what, can you scrap it? You could salvage. That's what I need to do from now on is salvage. So it gives you a little bit of stuff. That's right. Now I recall the salvage key. He is remembering. I've got our food stuff up here. Um, I feel like I want to go. Well, it's nighttime now, huh? Yeah. What, what do we hear? Oh, commune with the flame. Survival will be worthy addition to our cause. Place him into the world with a summoning staff, which you can craft from simple twigs. Thank you very much for the reminder. Okay, so we need to get him up and running. Let's grab him. Uh, let's see if there's a dude we could... Oh, fireflies. We're going to need those. I do want to live over there. But we're going to set him up so we get better armor and some better... Just a little bit better armor. And uh, I think weapon-wise, he'd be able to help us there. Tools, too. Once we get that stuff, then we're going to look for a place to uh, permanently live in, I think. Seems like it would be a good idea. Let's go see how this mace works. Hopefully you guys will be able to see better if we're in this shroud. Hello? Yes, you, sir. You are the lucky contender. Nice. Although, I've got to say, it took a little bit of time to do that. The combos are gratifying, though. It's a slower-moving weapon, for sure. But nobody said these guys were very fast either. We got two. Can we do double damage on these guys? These guys are banging into each other. Can I block? My turn. Summoning staff. There we go. Let's craft that. Okay. Is it in our other hot bar now? It is. Number five. Okay, number five. Tab. And we are going to get Oswald Anders the blacksmith. We mean none of free space. Where there's fire, there's hope. The forge, metal scraps, charcoal, and wood logs. Pin. Better to be the hammer. Uh, metal scraps, ten of those bad boys we need. 
Uh, there's 23. So what do you see? Let's see. Quick move, delete, move, actions. Okay, we'll just throw all of them in there. I guess it doesn't matter really the weight, right? Wood logs and oh, charcoal. Ooh, there's something we don't have yet. Um, hmm. We need the kiln, don't we? There's a kiln. Let's see. Is that in the workbench or is that through him? I thought that was through him. Really? Right now? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Charcoal kiln. What do we need? Uh, just, okay, we've got that. Let's craft that right now. We have to. Is that it? Um, there's a new sword. Wait, 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 wait. What's going Bye. on here? There it is. There it is. Oh, can I, I can put that right in here, can't I? Okay, that's what we're going to do. A little door in the front here. Again, this is temporary. We're going to try to find a better place for us to live. Uh, place items from your inventory here to make them available for the factory. Here, you can track the production process. The factory will produce the selected recipe until no ingredients are left or the factory's inventory is full. Okay, switch between the recipes you have unlocked for this factory here. Okay, charcoal is what we want. Here's some recipes. We got charcoal. <laughs> okay. Uh, we need wood logs and dirt. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so wood logs. Uh, oops. And dirt. I need 17 wood logs. Look at there, buddy. What you got here? You got metal sheets. Browse the recipes. What do we have here? Charcoal and metal. Okay, scrap. Okay, so we need to talk to him, I think. Lockpick, we got nails, shields, one-handed weapons. Okay, there's a spike club. Look at the damage. It jumps up by six. Need to make some nails, huh? And what do we need for nails? We need metal scraps for nails. Okay. Uh, there is a rising fighter set of armor. It looks like metal sheets, animal fur, and resin. And then we got a fur armor set, which we probably could get away with getting put together. Um... Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at um let's get some nails. What do we need for that one for the one handed the we've got a spike club we could make. And there's a shield. This requires four nails. One handed weapons, boom, we can craft that buddy right there. Alright, sweet. Alright, that I think it's even better damage than we've got on the sword. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm just gonna play along with what he wants me to do. Uh cleansing fire. Ah. Embervale can still be saved. Where there's ash, there's embers, kid. The shroud suffocates the valley, so seek the elixir well with your new gear and raise the root of our misery. Ignite the depths and set this evil ablaze. Go on, I'm counting on you, Flameborn. Even with new gear, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat well before you head out. A fire, a roof over your head, and some meat in your belly will prepare you for anything. All right, let's go back to his crafting stuff. What else does he have? He has an axe right here. We're going to need shroud wood, string, metal scraps. What about the pickaxe? Shroud wood, metal scraps. Okay, shroud wood and metal scraps. We have some metal scraps in our inventory. Let's take a look at that shroud wood. That's the food box. That's not what we wanted either. Nope, that's not what we want. Here we go. 
Shroud wood, we've got that. I've got some metal scraps on me. I'm going to drop this charcoal in here, and I bet we're going to need some string too. All right, let's go see about getting that made. Okay, so in here I do the forge to do the metal sheets. That's it so far, huh? Yeah, metal sheets. That's it. Okay, so I guess I've got to go to him then, right? To make the tools. Okay, that makes sense. Let's craft one of those. And uh, what am I missing for the pickaxe? Metal scraps, huh? We're short on the metal scraps. That's okay. Uh, we are going to... Well, you can't scrap those, huh? Well, hold on a second. Maybe we can in our inventory? Nope, you just delete those, huh? Okay, so I did a better axe. Let's go ahead and put that up there. This has damage of 11. It does... Sh is that shroud damage is what I'm seeing right there? Because this has no shroud damage. Blunt and piercing. And this has uh, cutting, piercing, and shroud. Blunt and piercing as well. 16 damage, 17 damage. This spike club is just barely better than this masterful mace, which is uncommon. So that's got a level on it. See, this is common. This is a better weapon here, I think. So I don't think I had to make this, but, you know, he was asking us to, I think. So that's probably a good thing that we did anyways. Let's throw that in there. Uh, the shroud we'll throw in there. We'll keep the metal on us so I can keep track of what we have and don't have. Uh, let's use that berry. Let's see, do these bees, I can't remember if the bees chase you, or if you just, uh, yeah, you just do that, I think, and that that's it. But if you hit it, I think there is a chance the bees come after you, right? I, I believe we had to fight bees. Better to wait till you have the bow to get the bees down. Aha, uh -huh, here's some flint. I think if we get some of this right here, ooh, this could be a fun place to maybe live. Um... Puts us right below, puts us jumping out here, right above this, the shroud, and across from that there, it's a pretty nice view, but I gotta think there's other spaces, but see what I mean? This has just got a nice little natural path that leads to it. It's, I think, maybe a little too far out of the way. Okay, so we found the flint stone. Let's just leave it at that. We found it, so it's, it's now part of our lives, which is fantastic. Okay, so maybe we make that into a flint mine. Although sometimes I guess they... It runs out of resource after a while sometimes, right? But that would be kind of the idea is to dig in. And I think we could do that just about anywhere here, really. I don't know if there's a limit to how close we can dig next to these things here. Because um, this could be an interesting spot. Just, um, this is what I'm going to be looking for, though. Just a nice pathway to it and all that. I feel like maybe down here would be better, though. Well, we've got enemies right here. But you know what I mean? Something like this along the path that we come out the door and boom, we're, we're, we're out for adventure, you know? But let's keep looking around. I'll keep looking around. Again, as I approach this, I'm feeling a little bit of lag. Nothing too dramatic. i can tell you one thing, though. The game hasn't crashed on me. Not once. Not once. Whoa, dude! <laughs> I did not see you there! Obviously, not fair. Not very nice. I wonder if I could jump over there and kill him without him getting me. Ooh, jeez. The Famaji. Oh! Where's the other guy? Oh, 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 oh. I don't know how that guy with the, uh, the big dart cannon up here managed to get himself back up there so fast. Can they climb ladders? Do they climb ladders? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. He just jumped down? He just jumped down now. What do you what do you think you're doing, buddy? Okay, you're gonna die now because you're out of ammo. 
There we go. You're dead. And you seem to have gotten yourself stuck, but I bet that's not going to be good for me. Oh, I got lucky there. I'm, I'll be the first one to admit it. <laughs> it should be dead. Some horrible fighting. But we got through the guys that were blocking the front gate here. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Let's get our axe out. There we go. We got some better loot coming in, that's for sure. Probably because we've got a better axe now. I hope so, anyways. Yeah, that was some sloppy fighting. Yeah, you know, you... you, you We'll do the best we can with this. Uh, okay. Ooh, the Ring of Mana, huh? Okay, so let's hope, first of all, before we do this, let's go to our backpack. Let's right click on this and equip. We have two now, two rings on. We have the sig sigil ring of the Elder Guard. Adds eight stamina and 10 health to us. And then the ring of mana, eight mana and one plus one mana re re uh, regeneration. Okay, so we've got a couple of, couple of fun things there. Uh, imagine this. You spot sunken stone pillars on the horizon, obscured by mounds of dirt. They stretch towards the sky like a titan stone, cold finger bones, the mark of a hidden tomb. The stairs inside lead into darkness. Torch in hand, you slip down into uncertainty, into dread. Yet your search drives you deeper. A morbid treasure calls for you, left to rot in the dust. Is it family jewels? Heirlooms from faraway shores? Whatever it is, my friend, it'll be the foundation of our empire. Foundation of our empire bold the cornerstone to a fortress raised from spilled blood sounds good i know the rough location if you take up the search gareth i'll spit the goods deal i'll split the goods deal i'll spit the goods what the heck am i talking about now can i break this and uh, get metal from this metal scraps two of them only two hmm. what about this box over here Whoa, what the heck was that all about? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. That was interesting. Oh, there's a dead dude down here. Got some bombs and some metal. Got a journal. Misfortune strikes like lightning. The lightning sets the skies ablaze. It's my only source of light since the fire was doused by this merciless downpour. Of course, I had seen the clouds gather before I left to search the hidden tomb. I had tasted the threat in the breeze. Despite the warning signs, he pushed me to venture forth. You can wait out the storm, but the water may smother our treasure in mud. Can you bear to see our empire wash away? Gareth. Oh, that silver-tongued devil. The tomb is close by, but wind and rain bar me from venturing further. These creaking trees scarcely shelter me, so I'll surely be soaked. And then the uh, text ab abrupts, uh, endly ab ends abruptly. Tomb is close by. Yeah, the key words there, I guess, right? Uh, campfire. Okay, I got my campfire. I took that campfire from there. Okay, that's pretty cool. I guess that works for me. What do we have here? Erlen, Erlen flower. This is something new. I've never seen the Erlen flower stuff before. Let's go take a look at this little building over here. The hidden tomb entry. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we should probably be uh, not going down there just at the moment. I see what looks like a journal entry right there. No ammo. Okay. Um, can I make arrows in my inventory? <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Wooden arrow. I can. Yeah, we'll, we'll hit the team up at a different time. Oh, 
Wow, that is a gorgeous view. Look at that view. Look at all that world out there. I wonder if we are able to go up there, or is that a blocked area? I don't know. Sure is awesome, though. Ah, home sweet home. Well, at least for now. There we go. All is fixed. Do I have what I need to get that uh, pickaxe from you? What am I missing? Shroud wood. One, huh? Can I... How do I get rid of this this thing that we were... This forge. Okay, let's forge. Let's uh, unpin. There we go. So if I go in there, I can unpin it. Okay, thank you. I'll have to make sure I do that from now on before I leave. Um, and you are still working on charcoal, huh? Okay, let's go. Can I turn this off? No. Oh, wood acid now and tar. There's a couple other things I could make here. We've discovered a few things since uh, starting that. Okay, well, we'll just let the charcoal run for now. Um, armor. What was the other thing? I was looking for the pickaxe, right? We needed some shroud wood. Okay. Shroud wood. We have some of that right here. We just got a little bit of it left, and I didn't put that anywhere it needed to go. There we go. And actually, let's... Let's build this first. Let's craft this first. Pickaxe. We'll craft that. There we go. Fur armor set. We need string. Okay, string, 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 and torn cloth. The rising fighter set. I feel like this might be better. Physical resistance, magical resistance. There's nothing really on either one of those. This is a level 5. This is a level 8. I feel like I should work on this first. Hmm. Now part of me thinks I should get this just to go right for this rising fighter stuff right here. I imagine I could probably pick up a lot of the materials right here around the base. Sorry, I didn't mean to poke you with that sword. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Fur armor set. Hat. Chest piece. Gauntlets. Pants. And the boots. Get rid of these. Don't want them anymore. Don't need them anymore. And we got some stuff out of them anyways. That worked out pretty, pretty, pretty well right there. Is that it? Uh, at the moment, yes, sir, that is it. Uh, shift, shift, and a shift and a click, and a shift and a click, and a shift and a click. I need a place for this core to go into. Uh, here we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, I'm not going to use too many of these. I want to figure these out better, these grenades. We'll put them down here for now. Got 34 arrow, 35 arrows. Yeah, we're looking pretty set to go back out again. Okay, give me a second to, uh, you know, oh, look at this. Look at this. We're looking very um, <laughs> patchy. We got some armor, though. Look at us, man. We're, we're ready for battle. We're ready for battle. War. I feel so tiny. I do. I feel like my head is bigger than, much bigger than my body. Okay, I'll be back in just a second. I love it. I want to find a nice cliff face to build into. Okay, so we've got this over here. This was like a mine or something, if I remember right. We, well, we're going to explore all of these things. Again, right now I really want to find kind of a spot where I can kind of dig a hole in the wall and get something going so that uh, off-camera time I could do grind work. Got beehives. We've got a big old valley over here. Hmm. It seems kind of foggy back in this area, doesn't it? This is a nice big open area out front. We've got the corrupt. We've got this shrouded area. This right here, though. There's a lot of trees and a lot of rocks right here. Is what I'm looking at. A small flint mine. This 
all the flint right here. There's a lot of it. The earth is rich with minerals. Mine ore veins with a pickaxe obtain them. Certain ores can only be found inside the shroud. Uh, that would be, well, certain ores. Is it considering the, the shroud wood? One of those? Nice. <laughs> Six arrows? What? That's pretty cool. Um, okay, so then this is here too, so I guess we did uh, explore this then, didn't we? Whoop. All right, perfect. Well, there's that. Oh, there's something spooky in there, though. There's something red glowing in there. Yeah, we're not going in there. Give me one second here, guys. There we go. Okay, we're not going to go in there at the moment. But we will search this. Uh, my rest buff is gone. I have no rest buff. We've got stuff over there. This rock face is looking pretty, pretty inviting to me. There's that tomb over there. This is looking pretty nice. The view isn't the, the greatest. It would be nice to have a, a, a big, uh, spacious view. Let's keep walking a little bit. You guys are a little bit more heavy duty, huh? Doesn't seem to be a lot more loot on, though. There we go. Nice. Okay, good stuff. Uh oh. Now remember, I've got no uh, rest buff right now. I hear something. I hear little, um, like spiders or something. rats we're looting uh, let's go ahead and use our axe our sword is looking pretty shaky we may have to zip home oh spider dear lord Oh, I got the I got the ick on me. Okay, it's coming. The health is coming back out. That was that was gross, spider. Get to before I can even do anything, huh? String and critter parts. <laughs> String and critter parts. All right, let's break this stuff up. It's gonna be dark. Grabbing all of it. Sorry, it's so dark. Try to make this fast. Man, that's pretty dang handy, I gotta tell you right there. Okay. New new territory. More corn right here. Bam. Oh. What? Is my inventory full? It, my inventory might be full. Um, I could consolidate. No, it's not full, so we just didn't pick anything up when we did that just now. Okay, and I'm running a little low on the mushrooms and stuff, the cooked mushrooms. This guy is really good. I remember that. And this is insect parts. We're going to take those out of here. We'll leave those grenades in there. And let's go ahead and swap out the bow with that. Oh, 
I love the fact the world is so open to explore. You know? I just love that. Oh. Whew. Oh, there's some kind of hairy dudes over here. What are these guys? They're like little Ewok dudes. <laughs> like giant Ewoks. Like uh, Chewbacca type guys. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I bet they pack a much bigger punch, too. One, two, three, four of them over there. That wolf is probably their dog. Yeah, I feel like we're definitely, uh, we've, we've traveled into an area that's probably a little bit above our, um, yeah, there's, there's a big fella right there. Should we poke him? We'll poke him. If we have to run, we'll run. Took everything. Resident animal fur. That's okay. That took that that destroyed our sword. It's gone. I, it's just like a waste of energy there. I, I'm not quite sure why those bees were after me. I don't see a beehive or anything else. Maybe there's just random swarms every now and again, right? Maybe that's a thing. Don't know. What's off this edge here? A lot of land. It's next to the tower. It's at this fork in the road. We have access to trees, stone, and everything else. It's a really nice rock face. I didn't want to grow, go too close to something like this, but it's on its own chunk of land over there, so we should be good. And this pathway leads right through here. Oh, hello. Oh, dang it, Jim. Wrong weapon for the job, for sure. Yeah, this could work right in here. Okay, we got those guys right up there. Okay, I, I remember this now. This is definitely a potential site. We're going to always have a wolf right there. What about this hill right over here? I see a wolf. Oh, is this a, is this a spot for a den? This, not, this is not a good way to fight wolves. Uh, I don't like not having a shield. I should really have another weapon with me. And I don't. So I'm not going to push my luck on this one. I've got the bow, but, you know. What is this? I don't know. I have to pay attention to what that is. I'll look at it later. We've got the bad guys just up around the corner there, but they, they don't matter to us. And we've got a nice little road right here, too. I wonder if you could do... If I build an altar, can we do that right now? Let's try it. If I craft another flame altar, can I place that? And then if I spread this out, it should continuously get, you know, give us more and more space, right? And I, I would like to eventually put this right into the hillside. Um, maybe I should test that first. Let's, maybe we should do a little bit of a dig to see if that's going to work. Not enough free space. It's pretty... It's... it's 
Just let me do it. Just let me move it around. I'm looking for the right spot to dig in at. I feel like this right here, this this area right here is just calling to me. I thought I heard a hiss. <laughs> it sounded like something hissing. Um, yeah, we're gonna just create, we'll create a room. I don't know how big it's gonna be just yet. We've dug a little bit too far out this way, I feel like, but you know, I'm gonna do that. So now we've got extra extra stuff there. Um, here, I'd kind of like this to mesh right into the side of the mountain at the moment. Something of this nature right here, as you can see. Something like that right there would look really nice. It just kind of blends in. We do something like this right here. That didn't quite... Oh, I see. We got... To, okay, it did. I see. I'm looking at this curve right here. I'm showing an arch here. Um, something like that right there. Okay, let's... um. We come inside. We're pretty good. We're definitely going to need some more headroom in here. The way I play games like this is, especially when we're digging like this into a mountainside, is it's better to take a little bit than a whole bunch all at once. Because it's, you know, kind of, I've, I've, it's just always a bit of a pain to have to put it back when, if you'd just taken your time to begin with, you really wouldn't have as many mistakes. That's not something I'm known for, though. I make lots of mistakes. I'm just trying to say that this is what I watch out for, I try to watch out for, but not do. Well, this is great. This is just great. Look at this room we're digging out here. This is perfect. Bash that back a little bit. I hear something. I think there's something in here with us. I understand there's some there's caves maybe. Uh, let's go to our inventory. We've got some things here that we were going to place. Uh, I've got a door, which is something we should probably put down, and we've got that workbench. But I don't have a bed, so we're gonna have to make the bed. Watch something come walking right in here. There we go. We've got ourselves a little hole in the wall, guys. That is so nice. I love that. Okay, um, we're workbench two, number two. Let's get our workbench installed. We'll try to get some light. Inventory. We got a campfire, right? I do. This only lasts for so long, so we're going to put that right over here in this corner just to get it going. There we go. Look at that. Do I have anything I can cook? I have nothing to cook. But we've got a light in here. Okay, so we do that. Now, what other lights can I make? Glider beds, tables, fireplaces. The fireplace. Okay, so we could craft one of those. Let's do that right now. We'll just put that in. Uh, benches. Illumination. I love the word illumination. Here they are right here. And we are going to do two of those. Awesome. And let's do one of those as well. Oh, this is the fun stuff, you guys. The lights are always the fun things, man. Lights are great. Lights are fun. Lights are best when it's one on one. There's our fire pit right there. Okay, beautiful. Uh, do I want it there? Let's, let's tuck it away right over here. Now, a lot could change between now and the next episode, but we're going to have a little something here. I, I, I hear something. There's something here. <laughs> There's something in the building 
nearby. We're going to bump into something here. I can just tell it already. Uh, backpack. What else do we have to place? Um, come on now. I want to place my lights. Where'd they go? And where's my lanterns? There they are. Okay, so number four. Nice, look at that. That is so cool. That is so damn cool. Number two. Look at that, that's beautiful. That is just absolutely fan freaking tastic. I put you on there? I could put you right up here, couldn't I? Maybe not. Maybe I can't put you on top of that. I could set you on the floor, though. Have a little extra light over in this corner when that's not on. I don't think these actually burn out. And the nice thing is you can pick it up and move it. Look at the little fireflies moving around it. How cool is that, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just have to wait for that to burn out. The hidey hole. The hidey hole is begun. So I'm, I'm guessing that by the next episode, the hidey hole is going to be a little bit bigger. Uh, it's just going to be a guess on my part, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be bigger and there'll be more stuff in here. I'll try to get some storage going and get some supplies stocked up. But I would like to see is this hollowed out a bit more uh well quite a bit more as a matter of fact you know and we definitely want this to be hollowed out more i wonder if i could blow the walls up probably so huh okay i need to decide if i want to try to do this here let's see if we can get another one of these made first before we extinguish this one um if anything else i could put this back right we could put it back let's make another one of those So number two, okay, so let's go ahead and extinguish this one. Uh, extinguishing the flame will reset the currently protected area after some time or with the next start of the game. Oh boy. Um... The thing is, see, this is as far back as I can dig right now with it not without having to do an upgrade to the flame. So I was going to see if I could bring the flame in here, set it down, and then we could build something in here to go around it when we came in. I don't think I even have a space big enough for it with the table and stuff here. Uh, but it won't let me place any blocks back here at the moment because it's just outside of our building area. If I go to um, number one, you can see, yeah. It's beyond our area. Now I can expand, and it should expand all areas of this flame. So we could do that, and maybe that's all I have to do. And then I thought we'll put some fencing out here, and like I said, maybe a gate across this walkway. We'll see. Uh, so let's not worry about that. Upgrade, alter, extend its building range. What do we need? Shroud core. We need two. We need a shroud core, which I believe we have to get from a boss, huh? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. See, I've got all this room out here. Did it push the did it push the boundary out this way because I was in the cliffside? It didn't do that, right? Because the cliffside is included in this too. It, yeah, equal direction all the way around, out to there, out to there. It makes sense. So how would I handle this then? If this is all the building space I'm going to have. I could start chiseling in the wall this way and lay out a floor and make it a much bigger space in here and I could go this way in the wall on the floor and chisel that out too until we can afford to upgrade this. Once this gets upgraded, then we can do something different with it. And I can also at the moment, at the moment, we can go up from here. We can go up. So we've got space above us, we've got space below us and to our sides. We don't necessarily have to go back this far. With this busted out, this means I could do is kind of block this off right now, and when it comes, comes, we could do some extra work out here with that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be our little hubble, our little hubble hole, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please hit that like button for me, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm on the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day, and I look forward to talking again next time. Oh man, so much fun, such a good time. Yeah, little hidey hole. Our little hidey hole.
gonna be a good time. <laughs>